And that's how I created my first trading bot in JavaScript. Before starting to code, I studied just a couple of books about finance and trading. This tool will buy and sell stocks automatically and make me millionaire. Maybe. <laughs> Stay with me because at the end of the video I will give you the exact code of this bot. Trading is basically the activity of buying or selling an asset like a stock, an option or a commodity and close the operation, hopefully, with a profit. We can trade both manually or automatically and this will be our focus today. For our trading bot, the first thing we need is to find a platform that allows us to buy and sell stocks. They are usually called brokers. In this case, we are looking for a broker that gives us API access, or even better, an SDK compatible with Node. After a little bit of research on Google and ChatGPT, I found alpaca.markets. Please note that this video is not affiliated with Alpaca, even because no one watched my videos, actually. No, not even my mom, since she doesn't speak English. I created an account on Alpaca and in the docs I found that they have a useful SDK compatible with Node. Then I generated the API key and I created a Node.js project. In order to check that everything was working I just asked for the list of assets. And it works! Now that we have access to the broker we need to define one or more strategies that we will use to buy and sell assets. Let's see a strategy like a mathematical function. This function takes in input the asset information like the symbol and the price in the last x days. This function performs internal calculations and the output is an operation. We can have three types of operations. Idle, which actually means do nothing, so we will not create orders. Buy, we will buy a certain amount of the asset at a specific price and we will add stop loss and take profit levels to close the operation or sell, which is exactly like the buy operation but the opposite. The simplest strategy that we can adopt is heads or tails. We can input everything we want but based on a random choice we will get an output buy half of the times and sell the other half. We assume the take profit and stop loss to be 5% of the current price. If we run this strategy over Apple, we can see that we are actually creating the order on our broker. The success rate of this strategy is something near 50%, since we are just guessing the asset price direction. In an ideal scenario, this should be enough to keep our trading balance unchanged on the long run. But since we have operating costs, this strategy will dry up our account very fast. We need something smarter than that to survive. Let's see a profitable strategy. Hey, just one second before we continue. If you are enjoying this content, please hit like and subscribe. It takes me hours to create a video like this and to help me, you just need one second. It's time to search on Google for trading patterns. The first thing I found is a series of candlestick patterns. So let's implement one of them. Since I'm just an average developer, I asked the ChatGPT to write the strategy for me. The strategy is called bullish engulfing. A bullish engulfing pattern occurs when a smaller red candlestick is followed by a larger green candlestick that completely covers or engulfs the body of the previous day candlestick, suggesting a potential reversal from a downtrend to an uptrend. Then I just checked on quantifiedstrategies.com how this strategy works. They also provide a backtest which means that they tested the strategy over the past data and they show how this strategy performed. At this point, we implemented the strategy in our script and we write the test as well. Our trading bot is ready. It is connected to a broker through an SDK and we also have a real strategy implemented. What we need to do now is adding more strategies and deploy it. In order to run our strategy, we can create a cron job that starts automatically, in my case, once per day, loops through the assets available and self-evaluate what orders needs to be created. This bot is actually just a toy and I would never give it real money. For this reason, we are now using a paper account. It's like playing with Monopoly money. As promised at the start of this video, if you want to play with this bot and customize it, you can download the source code by following this link. You can find the link in the description below. I hope you enjoyed this content and thanks a lot for watching.